when an idea is born, it needs a place to grow. It needs freedom to manifest. Some ideas take shape and evolve quickly, while other ideas need nurture and close care. Allow yourself some room to breathe. Remember, it needs time to come to fruition. Some ideas need to be shared and form through collaboration. Don't forget to have fun and just enjoy the ride. And then, when it's complete, watch it come to life and realize that remarkable ideas are born out of freedom. Oh, hi, I'm Daniel Starr. I'm working for Move Inter MUV Interactive. And what we do is we make a wearable device that can actually control every, and ev every piece of your projected media uh, on the screen, on the wall, on the ceiling, on the floor, wherever you have it, and we can actually provide you an unprecedented level of control, sensing, and the uh, projection of your media, and allow you to have a truly interactive experience with your media. And how, so how are you working the Internet of Things this year? Okay, we have, uh, uh, we have started uh, shipping into the markets of education uh, in the smart classroom which is uh, allowing the teacher, even a uh, not so sophisticated or technology savvy teacher, to actually ex um, provide a user experience, a learning experience that, imp uh, that provides, that has internet on every one of these sensing devices and can actually socially interact and make the classroom a truly fun and enjoyable experience. And who do you want to do business with in your Internet of Things projects? Who would you like to partner with or have as your customers? Excellent question. Uh, that's basically the reason I'm here at CES. Uh, we are actually seeking for establishing relationship with the distribution that goes to schools, to smart schools, and also to the professional audiovisual equippers, the integrators and designers of conference rooms that are seeking for a solution that can connect socially connect the managers and the presenters so that they can get a truly interactive experience uh, in their conference room, in their boardrooms, in their training rooms. And what are the main things you want to accomplish in 2015 with the Internet of Things projects? I would like to have one, uh, we'd call our device the bird, and we'd like to have birds on every finger connected on the internet so that everybody that learns, that trains, that plays, that does business, that presents, actually has a unique experience uh, in dealing with me in digital media. In the, in the longer future, how do you see the Internet of Things efforts you have helping people's lives? Okay. Um, there are many, many areas, but the one we're, we're actually focusing on is providing um, unique experience to a person that actually brings, marries, uh, basically connects the digital media, which is today constrained and confined to rectangular jails that we call screens, hardware screens, unleash that power so that everybody that has the internet of you know, the internet of connection and their finger can actually bring the data to life and make people's uh, interaction really enjoyable and usable. Thank you very much, Daniel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bird, a new learning experience. Bird is an easy-to-use finger-worn device that enables educators to easily interact with digital content from anywhere in the room using a variety of interactive methods.
Bird is a simple, intuitive and affordable solution that works with any courseware, using any projector and any surface type and size. Bird lets teachers and students interact simultaneously, creating an as yet unseen learning experience. Bird, what 21st century learning is all about.